Hi friends, I'm back with chapter 9 of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Chapter 9. Grandpa Joe Takes a Gamble. The next day, when Charlie came home from school and went to see his grandparents, he found that not only was Grandpa Joe awake, that the other three were all snoring loudly. Shh, whispered Grandpa Joe, and he beckoned Charlie to come closer. Charlie tiptoed over and stood beside the bed. The old man gave Charlie a sly grin, and then he started rummaging under his pillow with one hand. And when the hand came out, there was an ancient leather purse clutched in his fingers. Under covers of bedclothes, the old man opened the purse and tipped it upside down. Out fell a single silver ten piece. It's my secret hoard, he whispered. The others don't know I've got it, and now you and I are about are going to have one more fling at finding that last ticket. How about it, eh? But you'll have to help me. Are you sure you want to spend your money on that, Grandpa? Charlie whispered. Of course I'm sure, spluttered the old man excitedly. Don't stand there arguing. I'm just as crazy as you are to find that ticket. Here, take the money and run down to the nearest street store and buy the first Wonka bar you see. Bring it back here straight to me and we'll open it together. Charlie took the little silver coin and slipped it quickly out of the room. In five minutes, he was back. Have you got it? whispered Grandpa Joe, his eyes shining with excitement. Charlie nodded and held out the bar. Wonka's Nutty Crunch Surprise, it said on the wrapper. Good, the old man whispered, sitting up in bed and rubbing his hands. Now come over here and sit close to me and we'll open it together. Are you ready? Yes, Charlie said. I'm ready. All right, you tear off a bit first. No, Charlie said. You paid for it. You do it all. The old man's fingers were trembling the most terribly as they fumbled with the candy bar. We don't have a hope, really, he whispered, giggling a bit. You do know that we don't have a hope, don't you? Yes, Charlie said. I know that. They looked at each other and they both started giggling nervously. Mind you, said Grandpa Joe, that there is just a tiny chance that it might be the one, don't you agree? Yes, Charlie said, of course. Why don't you open it, Grandpa? All in good time, my boy, all in good time. Which end do you think I ought to open first? That corner, the one furthest from you. Just tear off a tiny bit, but not quite enough for us to see anything. Like that, said the old man. Yes, now a little bit more. You finish it, said Grandpa Joe. I'm too nervous. No, Grandpa, you must do it yourself. Very well, then. Here goes. He tore, under, he tore off the wrapper, and they both stared at what lay underneath. It was a bar of candy. Nothing more. All at once, they both saw the funny side of the whole thing, and they burst into peals of laughter. What the heck is going on? cried Grandma Josephine, waking up suddenly. Nothing, said Grandpa Joe. You go back on to sleep. And that, friends, was Chapter 9 of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Remember to have a great day and be kind.